I've had very little range of motion in my neck for years. Um, to sleep, to turn my head is virtually impossible. The range of motion is lessening every month. And this morning, last night actually, I was able to turn my neck, but this morning I can turn. I haven't been able to look over my shoulder in so many years I can't count. So I'm just shocked, thrilled, and elated, and my husband is just having a fit back in Kentucky. <laughs> he can't wait to see this for himself. How did, how did you sleep last night? Have you started to notice a difference in I that? I actually did. I slept so hard that I don't remember if I got up last night. I always get up three to four times a night without fail, probably more. Um, I maybe got up once, but I woke up this morning and kind of felt like I was hit by a bus, which leads me to believe I didn't move. You didn't move. All right. Anything else that you noticed? Um, actually, when I left last night, I did not take some of the medicines. I didn't take the Adderall for energy yesterday. And when I left here, I thought I felt like going shopping, which has always been my favorite thing in the world to do. But I went to the grocery store, got some groceries, and ate dinner. And it wasn't until after I ate that I started feeling like my normal self, which was terrible. But to have energy, without medicine to fake my energy, I haven't had that in years. So that was amazing to me. I was, uh, this is a fascinating experience and one that is proving that I'm very grateful that I came here. Well, I came here on a lot of medicines and a lot of pain, a lot of chronic pain. My quality of life was very little when I came here. I pretty much just stayed in bed all the time. I lost my hope. Nobody at home could help me. The doctors were just giving me more and more medicine, which my blood work was going worse and worse and my kidney uh, numbers were going up and I realized there wasn't a whole lot left for me. And at 55, I uh, have a lot to live for. and. From the outside looking in, my life looks great, but when you've got no quality of life, you just have nothing. My sleep is very broken. My sleep here is still broken, but it's so much better going to sleep. Going to sleep isn't so hard. Uh, I felt every night I feel as though there are six, six or so concrete blocks sitting on my shoulder. I, I'm a side sleeper and the pain is just immeasurable and it's uncomfortable and it's, uh, it's a very broken, very disturbed sleep. As of night before last, the concrete blocks had been knocked off. Maybe there was one, but it's lessening daily. Uh, the cramping in my legs, my neck has not bothered me at all going to sleep. I have not waked up with a headache or felt as though my head was going to come off from the pain. My shoulders, my arms, they're so much better. Matter of fact, yesterday I woke up and I had a glimpse of who I was many, many years ago. Uh, and that was about the grandest thing that's happened to me in a really long time. Would Normally, would you be having headaches in the morning when you got up? Yes. Every I day do. or once a week? Uh, I used to never have them. But they had gotten to where my head was hurting three to four days uh, every time I woke up. And, and through the day, it would come back. With the purpose said, it would, it would take the headache down, but then it would raise as the day went on and my pain just for moving. And I haven't had a headache in the last three days at all. Haven't waked up with one, nor have I gone to sleep with one. I'm heading home, uh, the, the, the vector machine helped me get through some of the withdrawals, coming down on the medicines, stunning. My stomach was a mess. The doc changed the protocol on the machine, totally eliminated my stomach problems. Uh, for the day, I'm having a little bit because we're back to pain which is with the protocol, which is what I do so desperately need. But I am thrilled to go home. I feel like uh, I'm looking at a life that I didn't think I would have again. My pain has lessened immeasurably. My spirit's lifted. 
I'm getting the old Anne back, and I really thought she was gone. So this is one of the greatest gifts I've ever had.